you've ever thought that building a WhatsApp bot must be either super time consuming or super complicated, this is the video for you. So following the success of my last WhatsApp tutorial video on how to build a bot, I'm actually going to be doing a time challenge today so that I can share with you guys how I can build a bot and deploy it in less than three minutes using my favorite bot building technology, Boomerang. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Meg and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. All right, so first off, we're going to head on over to buildabot.online. This website's going to share with you the fact that Boomerang is the easiest way to build WhatsApp bots. It's going to show you that you can actually launch a WhatsApp demo straight from this website so you don't even have to follow along for the three minute tutorial. If you would like to build and deploy a bot in three minutes of course that's what we're going to be sharing today in which case you would just click the build a free bot now button. And then in terms of features, it just speaks to the fact that it's a very feature rich platform. It uses a drag and drop interface, which means that you're simply going to drag and drop things in a very intuitive way in order to create the flow. In terms of the what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG editor, this just means that developers are not required. So even with no coding experience, you can build your flow. And at the same time, you're going to be able to preview it to see actually what your end user will see as well, which makes it super real time and up to date. In terms of the insights, there is a reporting dashboard which allows you to see how people are engaging with your bot, which would help you to optimize your bot's flow over time, as well as informing you about integrations like Slack, MailChimp, Zapier, Salesforce, and Google Analytics. And then finally, what sets WhatsApp apart is of course the fact that there's rich media, which means not just text messages going forwards and backwards, but actually PDFs, voice notes, videos and images and so much more. So let's start that three minute timer and click on start building now. So first off, we're going to have to create a username and login. I did so using my email address and a password. Once you've done so, you're going to land on a reporting dashboard. We won't see any stats in here as of yet because of course we haven't created anything yet. We're going to head over to bots. From here, we're going to click the plus and say new bot. Now you can select from start from scratch, send rich media, simple menu demo, a simple survey, a data enrichment journey, lead generation or customer opt-in. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to start from scratch and I'll show you guys why in just a second. It actually still gives you a helping hand. So here we can actually just go into that first bit of intro, copy and say, welcome to our Nike boomerang bot, for example. We can then actually click the cross button and upload our very own logo and then simply click apply. So already we've tailored that intro message. There's a delay reply, which means that it's going to seem a lot more like you're chatting to a human as opposed to a bot. And then we're going to customize the outro messaging. So I can't wait to see what you build. We can rather say we can't wait to welcome you to our new Nike store. Then in order to preview what our bot is looking like, we click on the last node that we interacted with and then we simply click this fly out menu. Here you can see exactly what the bot's going to look like. We click save changes and we name the bot. All right. And then Bob's your uncle, it's saved our bot. Now we just need to click launch your bot and then link it to a free channel, which in this case is our free test line. Click apply. All right, then you'd have to add a mobile number that you wish to engage with the bot using. So I'm going to do a dummy one. 27 is South Africa's dialing code. And we're going to click apply. And then it's going to give us a QR code which allows us to launch our bot. So there you have it. All right, next up, let's look at it from our phone's perspective. We're going to open our camera app and actually just go ahead and scan that QR code using the camera. Then here it'll pre-populate the high, which is of course what you need to prompt the WhatsApp bot to begin. And there you go. It's actually our Nike Boomerang bot live in action. So now that we've done the really simple stuff, I'm going to share with you a slightly sexier version of this bot now that we have a little bit more time. So next up, I would love to add the Nike catalog, which I've just so happened to have saved to my desktop. So I'm going to do just that and then I'm going to click apply. This would be the same process that you would follow for videos, photos or anything else in this vein. 
but again playing on the fact that it can be super interactive and it need not just be a forwards and backwards exchange from a text messaging perspective so obviously from a retailer's perspective the ability to be able to disseminate your latest catalog is a really cool use case for a bot and if you're wondering any more use cases for bots then please do check out my most recent video answering exactly that. What is a bot used for and why would a brand be interested in doing that? Okay, our file was successfully uploaded and we can simply add a caption. Check out our latest catalog. So now you can see it's actually put those between the two nodes. Now at any point you can actually copy and paste a node if you've developed a number of different journeys and you want to apply one journey to another. So there is really cool functionality like that, in which case you would simply click that copy. Otherwise, another really nifty tool is obviously just to bear in mind top left hand corner, there's also this manage versions functionality, which means that if you've done something incorrectly and you're worried and you just want to roll back your changes, that's also a simple thing to do. So as I said, at any point, if you want to add or remove something, you can simply just click this plus and see exactly all the functionality that's available or of course hit that trash can. And it's really just a sandbox for you to play and explore and you can create as many of these little mini versions before you actually decide on the flow that you want. So as you can see, there are a lot of different options. The other options that we didn't really touch on were asking questions or rerouting the journey. So for example, to take someone back to a menu, but those are just as simple and we can certainly discuss them in upcoming videos. Worth mentioning is if we click save changes and we close it, something that I didn't share with you guys is if you do actually check out some of those other templates, I would really suggest looking at the lead generation template. This is one of my favorites or alternatively the simple, simple survey mechanism. And by not starting from scratch, you can actually get an idea or some inspiration in terms of what these bot flows actually look like. So in terms of the lead generation one here, you can see it's asking what your price range is for a mobile phone. It's then sharing a bunch of different variable options, rerouting the journey, and then sharing things like what cell phone brand are you looking for? So it's really walking people through a journey which ends up with them sending an appropriate catalog of brand or product material and then finally saying that they've passed your details onto a call center. So definitely those templates are a great way to get inspired. Thank you guys so much for joining for today's bot tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed the timed slash challenge angle of the whole thing. I loved filming it, so I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did making it. Please do consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And please do check out Boomerang using the link in my description box below. Anyway, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video so that we can keep on doing digital better. I can help you out. I can help.